Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas. In this video, I'm going to be showing you this double cut saw that you can get at Harbor Freight. A lot of places sell these. Harbor Freight puts them on sale from time to time, and they're actually a very good saw. They have a lubricating stick that you have to put in. You always want to wear good eye protection. This uh, respirator mask and goggles, both from Harbor Freight. What I'm going to be doing in this video is showing you the various materials that this saw can cut. What I've done is mounted a bunch of various materials together. This is a piece of PVC pipe. This is also a quarter inch piece of plywood. There is acrylic in here. There is ABS plastic. There is Romex with copper wiring inside. And there is also a reciprocating saw blade here, an old one that I doesn't really cut anymore. These are all various materials that if you try to cut with the regular saw, it'd be very dangerous. A lot of these materials would damage the saw blade. You get caught up in it right away. Because the saw has blades that go in opposite directions, you actually don't get caught in anything because they the teeth come across and they clip stuff. So it's kind of like a 4,000 RPM clipper that comes in. So instead of the blade having the ability to grab and rip something, it just snips it very finely. So we're all geared up and ready to go. So if you look at the cut that we just did, the saw blade is completely ripped in half, the Romex is cut cleanly, the steel bar, all the ABS, even the acrylic uh, had minimal damage. cutting a piece of three quarter inch steel pipe. That's a very nice finish and it doesn't get really hot like your traditional abrasion saw. You notice there wasn't a lot of uh, material flying. One of the cool things about saws like these, they can actually cut tin, snip right through it pretty quickly, and also acrylic. If you go really slow, it's very, very thin acrylic you may have a little trouble with, but it actually uh, goes through the acrylic without actually chipping it or cracking it. This double cut saw works really good. I've had this one for a little over two weeks and I've been very happy with it. I'm gonna make sure that you use the lubricating stick, read the manual and follow all the safety instructions, wear proper protective gear, and don't start out cutting a bunch of complex materials all put together like I did. Get some practice with it first. These have very little kickback, but with any power tool, you wanna go slow, learn it, and be very careful. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.